you know, as all of us, I think, are already beginning to think about Thursday and, uh, you know, the upcoming Thanksgiving weekend and, and really the launch of the holiday season. Uh, what recommendations are you sharing with your community about how to prepare for the holidays, how to stay, stay as safe as they can uh, heading in, into the holidays? Thanks. What we're telling people is to really think about this in terms of what we hope to have happen with our holiday celebrations. Um, Thanksgiving is a great time of the year. It's, it's one of my favorite holidays to gather family and friends and to look back on the many things we have to be thankful for. Um, and as we've uh, continued to navigate through this pandemic, there are a lot of successes we can look back on and, and be thankful for the return to things that, that we had lost along the way. Um, one of the things that we encourage people to do is to have a family plan, to, to think about how you'll connect before you gather. And so, you know, to, to look, at your, uh, look at your symptoms, make sure you're not carrying anything to Thanksgiving other than the sides that you're supposed to bring. Um, and what we've also done is partner with the Howard Department of Health to make uh, rapid tests available in a, in a larger number in advance of this holiday. So here in Wood County and, and actually throughout the Tittle metro area and many other places in the state, people can, can get a, a rapid test. And these rapid tests are, are really great because they can be completed in, in just a short amount of time. They can be taken shortly before you engage in your, your holiday celebrations. And it gives you a chance to, to get another piece of information to see if you might have COVID and, and not have realized it. Um, by taking this test in advance of your gatherings, we have a chance to prevent the exposure to COVID that we might not otherwise have been able to avoid uh, because a person may not realize they have it. Um, even if they're not showing symptoms or showing really mild symptoms. Uh, we've seen over uh, the course of this pandemic that about two to three weeks after every holiday, we tend to see an increase in cases. And by taking some additional precautions like uh, you know, the symptom monitoring and, and, in, and in introducing uh, test use into this process, we have a chance to potentially change that trend and, and to reduce the risk of, of increased cases following the holidays. And that way, when we look back on these on these celebrations, we can think about the memories that were made and not so much the disease that we're fighting on the other side of our celebrations. Thank you. Well said. Thank you, Commissioner Robison.